Sitting in the morning sun I'll be sitting when the evening comes Hi, this is Bobby from RaisinBoat.com. We are going to be doing a quick demo today using the brayering technique. And we're going to actually make the card that you see here. This is a really easy card to make. If you're new to brayering, this is a great one to start with because it simply uses one color. So it's quick and easy and it can get you started on the road to brayering. So let's begin with the brayer. This is what we'll be using. I have actually already have ink on here. Um, the brayer includes these removable barrel attachments, and I've got a soft rubber in here right now, but you can get other barrels to go in it, including a sponge, acrylic, and soft and hard rubber. So you'll get different effects using different barrels with the brayer. To start out, we're going to lay a, a rubber mat down. This will help just smooth out your your um, stamping and you'll get a little bit better results if you put this down first along with your scrap sheet. And then here is my card front which is Brighton Beach White paper. I'm going to be using Memento ink today and I've inked this up nicely with my refill to make sure I've got a lot of good ink here. And when I'm inking up my barrel I'm just going back and forth and making sure that I'm covering the entire barrel with my Bahama Blue ink. You can see how much I've got on there. Now I am left-handed, so I'm going to start on the left and go left to right. If you're right-handed, you'll go right to left. But what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna start off your paper and then bring it on to your paper in the direction that you're headed. And what you'll find is you'll have more color, of course, here, and it will slowly um, graduate into a lighter color as you <clears throat> move down onto the sheet. Couple important things to remember is hold your brayer like this. If you hold it with the index finger here, you're going to be applying too much pressure. So you want to keep your hand like this and really importantly, you want to start off your sheet, not on. This will help avoid any real strong lines that you would get if you were to start on the sheet. So here we go. You can see how the ink is just coming on to the paper beautifully starting dark and it's going lighter and we're going to add more um, going to add more color again look how pretty that is this is beautiful for sky or for water and there you go and that's the beginning of what we're going to do. Now, if you want a little more color on the edges here, you can do that as well. You kind of just have to play around with where you start your brayer so that the amount of color that you want is in the direction that you want. You really want to make sure that you smooth this out. You don't want to have any real strong lines here because that's not what nature looks like. You just want it to be really soft and smooth. And it's fine to have some areas with a little more and some with a little less because that's really a very natural look. I mean, if you look at nature, nature isn't all one color. It's gradations of color and that's exactly what you're trying to achieve here. I'm just going to add a little bit more on here. There, and we're ready to go. So our next step is to stamp on this sheet. We are going to now create our shoreline, this black line up here. And to do that, we're going to use the Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And we'll use a technique called direct to paper. I'm just going to scrape the edge of my stamp pad right on my sheet here. And that's going to create my shoreline. There you have it. Now, I am not as worried about how it looks because I'm actually going to stamp right on top using this little grassy brush image from the set Pure Happiness. And that's what's going to really finish off that shoreline. Okay, and there you have it. Now, I'm going to bring this in a little bit so you can see. This is what it looks like right now. Okay, now I want to create a reflection of this brush 
in the water. And so in order to do that, I'm going to stamp, stamp off, and then come in here and stamp this in a very faded gray, or faded black, I should say. So it looks like it's a reflection in the water. Now it's time to put in our pier. And this pier is designed to work right off the edge of your sheet. So you can really just put this in here. And I'm again stamping it in tuxedo black. And there I've got my pier. Now I'm ready to color the pier. Markers. And mine are well used as you can see. And I'm going to be using three colors of gray. C1, C3, and C5. Okay. So we'll start out with the darkest shade this time. And I'm going to color in any area that would be shaded by the pier itself, which would be all of the areas underneath and the areas that are not on the surface of the pier itself. I'm going to use a C3. And I'm going to just go along here along the edges. This would be done, this would be beautiful, also done in browns or blacks. Um, any colors, nice good old wood pier here. Reminds me of our lake cabin. Okay, and I'm just going to go in and then I'm going to do the top of the posts that are on the vertical surface and then just along the top surface. Now I'm also going to go back to my C5 and put in a little color down here because this would be shaded by the brush or the shoreline here. And I'm going to take my C3 and then just kind of finish that a little bit. So it just kind of graduates nicely. And then my C1 will be my last color I'll be using. And I'm just going to soften these edges a little bit so that it's not such a strong contrast. Now, you'll notice that I am making the top of the pier remain white. And the reason for that is if you think of sunlight coming in, this part here would be the lightest or highlighted the most. And by keeping that white, I keep that look going. And then the areas underneath obviously get darker and darker. Okay, there is my pier all colored in and waiting for the next step. Our next step is to add the foreground cattails. And I'm going to actually stamp these in Versamark and then heat emboss them. I want these to be nice, crisp, really black, um, and also um, they'll appear to be a bit shiny because of the embossing powder which is really nice because they are in the foreground they should really stand out with the blue so we'll be using the Versamark pad and then our Zing embossing powder I've got a tray here that I'll be working with on the side and again these images are from the set Stunning Silhouettes okay I'm just going to be putting these in here Also got a single cattail that I'll add as well. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and add my embossing powder on the top. All right. And there they are, and they are ready to heat emboss. So I'll be back in just a minute as I heat these up. Okay, I'm done heat setting my cattails with the black embossing powder, so that part's done. Our next step will be to add the ribbon, and I'm using our Boathouse Collection Skyview ribbon, and, and then attach the little bird piece here. And all this is, is I simply stamped this in tuxedo black on a 1 and 3 8 inch circle, and then matted that with our uh, black granite cardstock. So that's ready to go. 
I've now added the ribbon and I'm going to go ahead and add my birds and I'm going to let these actually come off the sheet here because I'm going to cut that down just for a little bit of added interest. And there's the front of our card. Now I'm going to go ahead and mat that with a sheet of our black. And then this is going to go on to our Brighton Beach White cardstock in Ultra, which is um, a nice heavier white cardstock that um, makes for a great card base. I wanted to show you another card that I made using the exact same technique. I just reversed it so the blue is coming down and fading into white. And using the same elements that this card used. All the same cardstock and sets were used to make both of these cards. So there you have it. Brayering with one color. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'm sitting on the dock of the bay Watching the tide roll away Sitting on the dock of the bay, wasting time. I left my home in Georgia.